Alright guys, I'm at the school. They want me to figure out how to install the power pack for this humidifier in the gymnasium. They're complaining about drying it, so, and obviously they don't have duckwood here, so it comes with this power pack. So I anchored it on the wall up there. You'll see it up there, that power pack, that gray unit. Then I'm gonna make a hole, you'll see on the other side of the wall, for the drain and for the feed. And that's the unit right there, that's the power pack. Blower pack, Nortec. So it's really, it's a two wire down to that, a drain and uh, Feed. And it'll shoot, there's a fan in there, and it shoots the humidity in this in this in this space. Okay, so I'm on top here. There's my unit right there. So I anchored it on the wall and I also made an S cleat L at the top of it and secured it with more anchors. You know, I don't trust just two anchors there. And that's what I was looking for. So I gotta go back down and get it. Then, that's the humidifier, EL series Nortec. You'll see it right here. So the plan, I made a hole already on the other side, right between those two pipes there. So I'm gonna make a hole. And on this side, be two inches lower to come back to the system I'm hoping I'm gonna end up around here somewhere above this pipe and this unit I'm gonna lower this unit down a bit so whoever installed this I gotta lower it down so it drains back my water feed I'm hoping I could get it from here. I'm just gonna steal it from the washing machine here. Put a T here on this hose bib. Copper to the water feed. And we'll, we'll let her rip. Stay tuned. So I got, it's a double wall, drywall, so. I measure this distance uh, the ceiling too. Okay guys, so where my hole is, I realized that I've got these pipes in the way. So I'm gonna offset it in the middle here and hopefully try to get in between those pipes or below them. I'll show you what I'm doing. So at the unit. They have that black plastic piece. What they give you is this piece. So I find that with my one and a half copper here, with the coupling on, this fits nice and snug. And with a clamp, it'll be fine. The other side is gonna go to my unit. Um, so I got my distance to the hole. This is what's going in the wall. Then I'm going to, my plan is to offset it with 290s and to be going through the other wall to the unit. So let's see what happens. My water feed. Valve. Pushing to PEX, which is great. So my line, I'm gonna bring it here, across, behind there. And that's where I'm gonna get my water feed in the washing machine. I'm gonna put this in it, put a T. I got this fitting for pets. That's what we're gonna do. Once installed, this is a 
this school being built. But they gave up on it. I don't know because they didn't know how to do it. I don't know. But. in the other room and then we got over. All right, so the Matty Fracture, I drew it out here. The power pack that's in the gym has a drain, a condensate drain. They want 12 inches from the bottom of the power pack. So my 3 8 I use refrigeration 3 8 line. It's in there and I'll loop it, make a little trap, come down, make a hole, and go on that drain. The drain for the unit is going to go down, make a trap. You want three inches at least, and I'm going to go on that drain. So it's going to be like this trap to a drain. This is my water feed again. I'm gonna come across behind here, behind, and then hook up with this to the washer machine for my feed. Um, my steam, I'm gonna be putting it to here, and that's going to the power pack as well. You want a decline in this pipe as well. It's be going in here, so it's producing the steam, goes in there, and then the condensate, the 3 8 is coming out. So I have an adapter for pecs, right in here, elbow, across, across here. And what I did is, like I mentioned, I put a Y on my washing machine and put another pecs adapter there. So right now we got water inside there, we're good. So it's all in series. There's a high limit, which is this. So that's going to be going into the duct and I got an air proofing switch which is this, I had this in the truck, I'll use this, I just don't have any tubing. So for my humidifier, it's going to my high limit, so I'm going series with this, normally open, so it has to be closed. To my blower pack wire and then back so this has to be uh, closed and my air proving switch has to be closed and my blower pack has to be closed there's probably a switch inside for my fans so if the fans not running um, it won't be closed so my fan and my blower pack my air proofing switch and my high limit all have to be closed. Just like a furnace, they're all in series. So I'm gonna put them all in series and then it's going back to my uh, humidifier. Guys, for, humi for my humidistat, you gotta make sure you make note of where's the to uh, 24 volts, where's your uh, DC volts and your ground. Because your humidifier, my humidifier is different than my humidistat. My humidifier, number one is 24 volts. My number one here is my 20, uh, my number two here is 24 volts. For one of my humidistat is my ground. And my number three on my humidifier is my ground. So it's going one to three and one to two. I don't know why the manufacturer just can't be the same. 
they provided me with this humidistat, why not keep the number it's the same? Anyways, so that's that. And then my number six, I believe is the same. My 10 DC out is my number six, 10 DC out here as well. So that'll be the same. All right guys, so my humidifier is hooked up, tied up to all the wires. These wi this wire is coming back from my power pack in the gymnasium. And I start doing my safety switches. Going in and out of the small hole is starting to be a pain. But anyways, so this is my condensate. Looping with this cavity here, so. And it goes to my power pack. And this is my steam, steam line. On a downhill, on a slope, 290s. I went in between here, underneath here, and it goes to either side. And that's going to the top of my humidifier. This is my power pack wire going to my humidifier. This is my humid uh, humidistat right here on the other side of this wall. And this is the line I just put in for my safety, for my security loop. So I'm gonna bring it across, probably bring it around here. I made a, um, made a hole for my air um, high limit. And this is my uh, air proofing switch, so. Run a tube in there. I made a hole through here with a, I forget what they're called, those diamond bits, and I'll be good. Now we have to make sure my power pack outside, where it emits the steam, there's a fan in there. So everything has to make in there. And that's this wire here coming from there. Tied into one side of this, and then on the other side of this, it's going to my security loop, back to my number two. So our circuit will be complete. All right guys, just took a bite to eat, just trying to uh, make this in layman's terms as much as possible for the new guys out there. So see I was saying 24 volts goes to my high limit. I bridge the two and the three, and these make, so it makes the number four, goes to my normally open on the airflow um, safety switch. On one side, the other side comes back to my blower, blower pack. On one side of the wire, and the other side of the wire goes back to my security loop. This is the steam, my drain, my condensate for my power pack on the other side. It's a 3 8 line there. And now we're gonna do this strain. The, the main machine. It's gonna go like this. Trap. Cross. And there. All right guys, so that's my strain. 3 8 line. My steam, I insulated it. Some communication wire. This is 20. All right, guys, that's my two. So the taller one stays out here in the atmosphere. That's it, goes in there. We're good. Have to get some uh, spikes or uh, tape. But I like to cover this with plastic too, it's just an added protection. I put a box there for my power pack. It needs power, right, for the fan. So I got a BX, I brought it in here, I made a plug, I plugged it in there. You want to rush and come in here? Turn on the unit. My power's not even hooked up. Oh well, so much for that. Come back another day.